Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at a couple Batman action figures from the new 4-inch Spin Master line. Uh, these were all found at Walmart. I found a couple of different figures at Target, but apparently at Target they're street dated until Sunday the 19th. Uh, so they wouldn't sell them to me, but Walmart had no such problem. So I just walked in, bought them at Walmart, and walked out. No problem whatsoever. Um... From what I'm noticing for the single figures, Spin Master has kind of like a Batman assortment case and then kind of like a sidekick slash villains assortment case. So if you're only finding Batman at a store, it might be because they just didn't get the other case in yet. I don't know. These should be rolling out pretty evenly soon. I don't know if this street date was made up by Target, if it's something Spin Master said and Walmart just didn't enforce it. I don't know. But in any case... These were the four Batman figures that I was able to get. I believe this is the entirety of the Batman case, but I could be wrong. Because I found these three at Target as well, but they wouldn't sell them to me. And this one has only been found at Walmart. And you'll notice the packaging is a little different. Um, and on the side over here, you have a picture of Batman and Killer Croc. There is also a Killer Croc single pack. If you've been paying attention to my channel, you may have seen the Batman, Robin, and Croc, like, three-pack three pack Swamp Encounter, or whatever that set was called. Um, so there is a Croc available in that three-pack, but then there's also going to be a Croc singly carded. I'm wondering if... They all say Creature Chaos, so I don't know. I'm wondering if this is a Walmart exclusive, and it just doesn't say that. Because Target is, uh, has two exclusives. They have, like, a King Shark variant, and... I think maybe another Batman that's exclusive to Target. I'm not sure. There's there's two figures exclusive to Target, but they have a thing right on it that says exclusive to Target. I'm wondering if these are exclusive to Walmart and they just didn't slap the sticker on it. I don't know. But in any case, you can see packaging. Pretty neat. Uh, this little flap here, I'm told, is going to have some kind of mission. Uh, and apparently there's four different missions. And you can see over here it says what mission will you get and you see the four that are listed here. I don't know if it's like an app game thing or if that depends on what it says you get three mystery accessories in here. So we'll see how that goes and it looks like there's like a checklist of figures that comes with this as well. So I like the packaging. I think it's, it's uh, you know, it's compact but it gets across what you need which I think is good. You don't always need, you know, so much packaging so... Pretty happy with that. I'm excited to see what these mystery accessories are. We'll see how that goes. But you can see there's like this gold suit Batman. There's kind of like a traditional Batman. This is uh, black and blue. I really like the color scheme, but I'm not sure if this is from anything. And then this one says this is Rebirth Tactical Batman. So, there you go. I'm going to go ahead, get these guys out of the packaging, and we'll take a closer look. So I started opening these, and it actually is pretty neat the way you're designed to open them, so I kind of wanted to share it with you guys real quick. So you can see right here, this is perforated. You just kind of pop that like that, and then you want to use like a little blade or something just to cut this tape, because there's tape right here, and there's tape right here. And then once you open that up, you can see it shows you, um, this says it's a collectible trading card, and this is also just perforated, so you just come to here... And just kind of pop this off and then this pops off on the top here and I guess this has to do with the mission I'm not really sure I think this is Arkham Asylum but you can see it's Batman versus the Joker there's nothing on this side but it says you can keep this as a little card but then you see that there's kind of like a locker system right here for the three accessories so you just kind of pop this open and then okay he's got these uh they look like they can be swords individually, but then if you want, you can um, pop them together like this. Why is this not working? There we go. And then it can be used as a shield. So it's kind of like a shield and swords in one, which is kind of neat. Uh, then you come down to the next like little locker section as this falls apart. And he's got like a little grappling beam thing. It doesn't fire or anything. It's just one solid piece of plastic. But it's made to look like a grapple gun. And then the last one here. Oh, this has a piece of armor. That's cool. A little helmet. So that's how it works. I think that's kind of neat how it's like a, it looks like a little like locker with all his gear in it. And then you just go ahead and 
pop the figure out over here. So take that out. And then real quick, I'll show you the um, little grid. It shows you with all the other figures that are available. So on one side, there we go. It shows you the four missions. Apparently it's Carnival Chaos, Harbor Defender, Sky Detective, and Arkham Asylum Escape. And then if you come around to the back, it shows you the figures that are available. So I got, I think this is Arkham Asylum Escape. So you can see it tells you here's the Batman and here's the three accessories that you'll get. And I guess some are super rare, like there's a, the gold Batman I showed you. He can be either this one or this one. And the same thing with like Robin. If you get a Robin, you don't know if it's going to be the Carnival or if it's going to be the Sky Detective version. And I guess that affects which accessories you get. I think the figures are the same, but it just affects which accessories you get. Oh, there's also a Harbor Defender down here. So, so if you're crazy and you want to try to get all the variants to get all the different accessories, you can go to town. But for the most part, I think it seems like I don't think anyone has an accessory that isn't possibly found somewhere else just maybe in a different color so i don't think there's anything that you'll never find if you just buy all the figures but we'll see how it goes but yeah i just thought that was kind of neat the way you opened them up and they had the little locker for the accessories and everything so just wanted to share that real quick i'm going to go ahead and finish opening these up and then we'll take a look at them all right so here are the four figures out of the packaging with all the accessories so first off we have the super shiny gold batman I don't really know what this is a reference to. Maybe it's something from the comics. I don't remember. I just feel like, you know, if Batman was a common Rider, this would be his final form. <laughs> it's just super gold for no reason. But it's a cool little figure. I like the black bat on the chest. Uh, all of these have pretty much the same articulation, which is to say head can go side to side. You get some really tight ratchets in the shoulders. Not every joint is as tight as others, like across the figures, but some of them are, are pretty crazy tight in the shoulder. And some of these elbows are a little tight. Once you kind of get them to move, they loosen up a little bit. Uh, you can also have a swivel there in the elbow. The forearm and wrist are all solid one piece. Waist is solid one piece, but you have hips out to the side. To the front, you have a thigh swivel. You have uh, pretty much 90 degrees in the knee, as well as a swivel at the knee. And then from the knee down is one solid boot. The cape is kind of a nylon material, so I would think don't heat it, like don't try to iron these or anything because they should melt, I would think, so be careful with that. But pretty cool. I like gold Batman. Then we have kind of your traditional Batman, gray and black, nice bat on the chest, got the utility belt. And they all have this uh, hole in the back for accessories, I'll show you in a minute. And then the cape has a hole as well, so that way the cape doesn't get in the way. Now this is the blue Batman that was a Walmart exclusive. Mine had a tiny little, like, nick on his head. I don't know what it was from. I just hit it with a Sharpie marker, and I feel like it's perfect now. So, just a little, little uh, advice there. I had, there were two to look at in the store. The other one had a bunch of paint messed up around the symbol and some paint on his crotch. Uh, so I just, I went with this one. I figured I could probably fix it right up and I could so there you go he looks great I don't really again I don't know what this color scheme or motif for the suit is from but I like the colors I think this is a really cool like cobalt blue and it looks sharp with the black so very excited for that Batman as well and then this is the rebirth tactical Batman he's got some cool armor on really like this this is all built up I love the kind of metal metallic steel look and then his cape is a little messed up from being in the packaging it's a little ruffled i guess we'll say <laughs> but uh still very cool i think these figures are really neat i really like these a lot for little four inch figures they're a good price point lots of articulation and uh, pretty solid paint jobs i have to say so let's go ahead we'll dive into these accessories that they come with so first up the gold batman he's got one of these sword shield combo deals so i'm assuming that he can hold these 
Although, honestly, it's pretty big. Let's see, maybe we can do it like this. There we go. So he could use these, like, pretty massive swords. And there you go. I mean, these are like machetes. They're huge. And then if you don't want to use them as that, you can put them back together. Like so. And then there is a spot for him to hold it as a shield. There you go. It's got the bat shield. So, I mean, if you really want it, I guess you could do like a half and half. Have him hold just this piece because the handle is contained on one piece and then have him use this as a sword. That would look kind of silly in my opinion, but you could do it. So I'm going to put this off to the side. He also comes with a grapple gun. So you can pretend like he's about to grapple. A lot of times with toys they would do like a firing missile or something with a rope. It's just as well that they don't because I feel like those are kind of messy and I don't know. You just pretend he's going to grapple somewhere. So that's a pretty cool accessory. Nice little bit of detailing and molding and everything. Just cast out of one solid plastic. And then he's also got this crazy giant gun. I don't know, some kind of ray or something. I don't know what that is. This looks more like something a villain would use. It almost looks like a, I mean, it does have a bat symbol on it, so I guess that squashes that. I was going to say it looks like a Mr. Freeze gun or something like that. But I don't know, maybe it's some kind of ray or or one of those things that like paints the target for a drone strike or something. I don't know. I don't know what Batman's up to. He's got all kinds of gadgets. So anyway, those are the accessories that he came with. Uh, the regular Batman came with another grapple thing and another shield combo. We've seen these. But he actually came with a cool helmet. So if we pop this on... It looks a little goofy, but I think it's kind of cool. Armored helmet. And it just clips on really easily, so I think that's pretty cool. And you'll notice that the blue Batman came with some armor. So these should be interchangeable. So if we pop that on... It's a little... They don't really fit together, which is kind of a bummer. <laughs> the armor doesn't fit with the helmet. That seems counterproductive, but let's see if we can make this work. Yeah, there we go. So he's got the helmet and the armor. Kind of neat. I think there are also gloves out there that I just don't have yet that you should be able to find in one of the other packs. I kind of wish the armor was in a darker color, but what are you going to do? So there's the helmet with him, the armor with him, and then you'll be surprised to learn that he also comes with a grapple gun <laughs> and sword shield combo piece. Definitely have a ton of those grapple guns. I think I have four of them now. Uh, the last Batman came with this even crazier like ray gun. I don't know. It looks like this is firing out of it. So maybe this is supposed to be like a Mr. Freeze gun? I don't know. Uh, then you have this weird contraption. I don't know what the, I assume that's a laser gun of some kind. I don't know. And then he's got this bat backpack thing. You can see it's got a pretty large peg. And that's to go into all the pegs they have, peg holes on their back. So you just pop that in. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. The wings are too short to mean anything, so I don't really know what this does. If the wings were a little bit longer, it might be cool, maybe like a glider or something, but as it stands, meh. I honestly might just put it in there just to kind of de wrinkleify his cape, because I kind of need that to happen. But in any case, I think the figures are great. I think the accessories are okay. They're nothing amazing. Um, I definitely don't think I would buy duplicate figures to get the different accessories. The only thing that I would really want left from what I've looked in the packaging is the 
arms to complete the armor, but if I don't get them, you know, no big deal. But I think the figures are solid. I think for what they cost, let me try to get these guys all in the frame here. Uh, for what they cost, they're like $7.99 a piece. I think that's very reasonable. Cool little 4-inch figures with great articulation, great paint applications, great detail. Three accessories. Um, you know, like I said, the accessories aren't amazing, but they're still cool. I mean, I think the little grapple gun is cool. I mean, it's Batman, you know, he likes grappling around. Um, the sword shield thing, it's okay. You know, it's not amazing, but it's not terrible. Uh, the armor's kind of neat. The various ray guns and things, you know, once you get some villains, I think they'll be, they'll come in handy with them. But yeah, I, I definitely recommend these figures. I think they're great. Uh, if you don't necessarily want to collect all the different Batman, just pick your favorite and, and get, grab at least one Batman because, like I said, for 8 bucks, I think it's a cool little figure and I'm definitely looking forward to more heroes, more villains, definitely some more vehicles, and I'm hoping for like a Batcave playset. That's what I really want. When you have figures this size, I feel like it's easier to get play sets and vehicles i mean it's look at gi joe you know these guys are about the same size as a gi joe and gi joe is the master of play sets and vehicles so i think when you have figures this size it really lends itself to that so hopefully we'll see some of that in the future but uh yeah i definitely recommend these i think these are a blast so please like share and subscribe hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always thanks so much for watching